All right, what is this? Wireless lavalier microphone by Bauer. Is it worth it? Is it not? Spoilers alert, it's not. Alright, so we're gonna be reviewing this Bauer wireless lavalier microphone. I got it initially because I wanted to improve the audio quality of my vlogs that I do, walking around and whatnot, you know? One of the cool things about this microphone is that it has a built-in AI feature that blocks out background noise. Noise cancellation is the proper term. But we're gonna put that to the test, see how it sounds. As of right now, I'm using my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra to record this current audio. We're gonna switch over to the wireless microphone here, same distance away from the phone, and we're gonna see exactly how it sounds. First things first, taking it out of the box. I already opened it, I already been using it, but I wanted to do a review on it real quick. So out of the box, you got your charging cable, typical, and then you got the actual microphone itself. Whoop, nothing too fancy. It's got the USB-C connection because I'm an Android user. I don't like iPhones personally, but that's just a personal preference. That conversation for another day. Anyways, it's got this nice little, uh, I guess it's the wireless receiver. You plug this into your phone and they say you want to clip this like one hand length like this away from your mouth. So about right down there, we'll do it. Perfect. Plug this into the phone and then behind here, there's a power button to turn it on. My first time using it, I didn't realize that there was a power button to turn it on. So I started recording like a 10 minute video and well, there was no audio. <laughs> Just me, my mouth moving, no audio though. So anyways, I'm going to plug this in and we're going to see how it sounds from this distance. All right, it's standing the same distance away. I got the microphone plugged in and I'm talking at the regular voice I was talking without it turned on. And well, this is how it sounds. I've already been using it for about three days and from my personal experience, if you're in a quiet quiet setting. If you're in a setting with not too much background noise, it's not too bad. For a $20 microphone, I believe it was like after tax, it was like 20, 20 something. You know what? I got the receipt on me right here. None of that guessing stuff. Let's just go straight, straight to the facts. So yeah, it cost $21.98 before tax. So that's about like, I don't know, somebody do the math. I think it's like 20, 2340 or something like that. Anyways, we're probably standing about, let's say, four feet away from my phone. Since this is a wireless microphone, it doesn't really matter how far away I stand away from the phone because as long as I got the microphone clipped on my shirt we should be good to go. But we're gonna do some other tests real quick. Um I picked this park in particular because there's a lot of planes that fly overhead and I want to show you guys what I mean about poor noise cancellation. First things we're gonna do is we're gonna do a distance test. So I believe on the box how far is the range? Good up until minus 10 degrees Celsius. Wow that's cool. I need to know the range. I don't think it has any range on it. Interesting. Yeah this thing doesn't have any range on here. That's unfortunate. 20 meters without obstacles 20 meters. I don't know how many feet that is. I live in Canada, which technically we're supposed to use meters, but I grew up learning feet. Anyways, we're going to do a distance test. I'm going to walk probably to that tree. That's probably like 20 meters right there. And we're going to see uh, how the phone sounds first, and then we're going to see how the mic sounds. So I'll be back. All right. So to start recording audio from the phone again, you have to unplug the receiver. So we're going to walk over to that little intersection there and back and just to kind of show you guys how it sounds with the phone quality versus the microphone quality. So I'm going to just keep talking, talking. I'm going to turn my back so you're not really gonna hear me too well but that's the whole point of this test here we go walking and talking he's a carrot i don't know if you guys can hear me from here but i think this sign's a good spot to kind of stop all right you probably can't hear me but that's okay we're coming back now Mom and dad, ba 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 boo, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. Peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. I'm saying peas and carrots because I was watching this one TV show. I forget what it was, but apparently when you're a background person in a scene, peas and carrots is what you're supposed to say, or it's what people say. Because, you know, when you're in the background, your mouth is just moving. And when you say peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, it can be interpreted as anything by the viewer. But anyways, we're going to plug in the microphone and we're going to do the exact same thing. See how that sounds. Okay, one second. So remember, when you plug in the microphone, you got to turn it on. It's on. You can tell because it's got a green light. I'm if you can see it on there but we're gonna do the same test we're gonna walk over to that pole and we're gonna come back 
back just to see how it sounds. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. You can probably still hear me because I got the microphone on my jacket here, but I don't know about the transmission because if there's any interference, it says it doesn't work. Now you can probably hear me again because there's nothing in between the phone and the mic. So anyways, we're going to go back. Hey, how's it going, people? <laughs> hey, not too bad. Anyways, that is the microphone. I want to uh, listen to it back and see how it sounds when my back is turned. I bet you I probably got a little choppy because, you know, there was that interference. But aside from that, it should probably sound the same. Like, it, it shouldn't have sounded too different because, again, it's a microphone that's clipped on me. So my voice is going to sound the same no matter where I go, right? The next test we're going to do, though, I want to start showing off the noise cancellation and how annoying it is, in my opinion. Uh, to do that, I think we're just going to walk alongside this road that's right beside me. We're probably just we'll head down there and we'll just record on my phone for a minute and then we'll record using the mic. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Or if we're lucky enough, we might get a plane flying overhead. A lot of planes come over here. So that's another another reason why I kind of picked this place was for that plane noise. But I think I think the road's going to be a lot better because it's a very busy street. It's like rush hour right now, 12 o'clock lunch. Everyone's going to and from work. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to de-mic myself and we're gonna head over to the road so i'll catch you there yeah i just wanted to record on the phone mic on the way over to the road just to kind of give you guys a nice reference point right now as to how clear my voice sounds when i record on my phone versus when i record using this let's say 23 dollars microphone um if you guys see my other vlog when i was touring the college it actually didn't sound too bad because for one it was the weekend so nobody was at the college so it was super quiet and well honestly that's the only reason why i sounded up okay it still sounded choppy though like it sounded compressed because that noise cancellation was like really trying to block out nothing to be honest like there was nothing to be blocked out but it was just doing its built-in ai thing which you know is cool it works but i don't like how i sound with it and that's kind of why i wanted to do this test for y'all so you guys you know can make your decision whether you want to or don't want to record anyways we're coming up to the street right now you can probably start hearing the noise of the vehicles driving by i think right about here though right here is where we're gonna stop and record because we're not like right beside the road pretty close see got cars going back and forth but this is perfect this is what we need so anyways i'm gonna set up this camera here i'm gonna keep that shot in the background though how high can this bad boy go okay wow that's tiny yeah we'll record like that that's fine that's good like that so yeah honestly now that i want cars to be driving by we ain't got too many cars but there's a few so i'm just gonna keep talking talk about my day i got no plans really for today kind of hang out i'm supposed to beat my friend at this park play some pokemon go he was supposed to be here like 12 30. i think it's like after 12 30. let's see look at that it's 12 40 and the little shit's not here oh he just messaged. He said he's on his way. So I guess that gives us enough time to wrap this up. I'm going to clip in the wireless microphone now. And I'm going to keep talking through there. Just to show you guys how it sounds with all this background noise of vehicles going by. So uh, yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. We should be recording now. Yeah, we got the green light on. So yeah. As I was saying, still waiting for my friend. We got these vehicles going by. You probably can't hear them at all. You probably can which is the good thing about this microphone. The noise cancellation. It does, it does a good job. I really do like it. What I don't like though is the compression. Like the compression of the audio. It sounds muffled. It sounds echoed. But I guess you get what you pay for. $23 microphone, right? So I guess my final thought. I got to play this back and listen to it. But I already know my final thought. So yeah. I think this is where I leave it off. Let's just wait for these uh, couple couple little more cars to go by. Look at that, eh? Rush hour. I might go get myself a, a nice little soda from McDonald's in a little bit here. After my buddy links up, probably do a couple laps or whatever. Catch a few Pokemon. We got the, uh, what is it? It's the Chinese uh, New Year event going on in Pokemon Go. So a lot of dragon Pokemon are spawning in the wild. And, you know, if you guys play Pokemon or if you know anything about Pokemon, dragon type is probably one of the best types in the game. You got a lot of pseudo legends that are dragon pokemon and pseudo legendaries are basically they're, they're pokemon with like iv stats that are comparable to legendaries but they're technically not legendaries for example dragonite tyranitar I mean, I think Charizard could be considered one, maybe. Not really, to be honest. Honestly, those are the, those are the two I can think of off the top of my dome. But anyways, I guess that's it. I'm gonna sign off and come back with my final thoughts, recording using the phone. Peace. Okay, so final reviews on the wireless lavalier microphone by Bauer. As you guys could tell, the couple audio tests I've done, it it doesn't sound too good in my opinion. I really thought it was gonna be something else when I bought it. I thought it was. I didn't expect it to have the best quality, but I didn't expect myself to sound like a radio announcer from the goddamn. 70s you know doing a commentary over some baseball look at him he just got a home run there he goes out in the field he's catching the ball
You know what I mean? So if I'm being completely honest with you, maybe, maybe if you guys are like in a very quiet setting, like I'm outside right now with some background noise, like in this area I'm at right now, there's like not too much background noise, but there's some. And with the microphone on me, I still sounded very choppy. So unfortunately, I personally cannot recommend this microphone to anyone. I think it's trash. I think it's garbage. In my opinion, it was a waste of money. In fact, I'm actually going to return it today or tomorrow. I, that's why I got the receipt on me. So uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for a a good microphone honestly you're probably just better off using your phone just kind of speak louder like if you're if you're a far away distance like like me i'm probably like four feet away from my phone right now just speak louder don't buy a shitty microphone if you're gonna get yourself a wireless microphone make sure that it's quality make sure it's a quality microphone like that uh dgi microphone 300 bucks but i think that's the one i'm gonna get and there's another microphone too it's called the hollywood mark ii that one is a pretty good microphone too i was looking up that one is like 150 and then the dji that is 300 so yeah i would not recommend that microphone do not get it whatsoever just use your phone your phone audio is going to sound way better than that anyways peace